They're gaining on us. Will the Red Beast hold together? Only got 2,000 of the club. Ah. 2,001! What a help! Sorry had to end like this. Had a damn good innings. Ah, the pity had to be a run out. Appreciate you turning up, Bo. I know it can't be easy getting away from the city. It's all computers and champagne nowadays, isn't it, Bo? I'll say the <laughs> thing. Jim is not a Tory. Quite right. Come and have a go, Bo. Remember, cricket is not war. No, but it's a very fine substitute, Skipper. <laughs> This is where ancient Portuguese Gimbala ends. And civilization starts. That depends on your point of view, Mike Savage. You get back safely. Ah, cakewalk. Well, Joe. Uh, well, Mike. Oh. You know, it's at times like this. <laughs> Hey, you know what to do? Yep. The draft, the portfolio's there frozen. The non-negotiable bonds and the mutuals particularly the I organized, yes. I did the paperwork. <laughs> Records of the joint funding accounts in Lisbon. Mm -hmm. They go to the Banco de Atlantico. And the bonds. And the bonds to Banco Fonseca Cash in Burnley, Pinto Soto Mayor, and Caixa Geral de Depositos. I organized it, Mike. Hey. <laughs> Right, at the third set of traffic lights. Hug Hannah for me. Yeah. Oh, and Joe, you trust me. Go! That should tell us which are the supporting walls. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> the plans are just in the car. Ah, ceasefire, Bo. I need a drink. You a fancy of pints after nets? Uh, have me a quick one. Got an appointment, I'm afraid. How's our lovely estate agent then? Fine, thank you, Freddie. I saw Miss Somerville showing some people around the Hill House earlier. Well, she's a... got herself a buyer, she? <laughs> no idea. Never makes business with pleasure. Skip her. Yeah, well, anyone who could afford to buy that hill house could afford my best sirloins. I say 
that again. Uh, what do they look like, Jim? Oh. Boy! Oh. <laughs> nice looking woman. Couple of long-legged young daughters. <laughs> well, sounds like welcome additions to the neighborhood. Uh, any sign of a husband? No, not as far as I could see. <laughs> You're not as rough with your business associates as you are with bowlers, Bo. Isn't a lot of difference, Tom. God, oh, that pie looks wonderful. That's enough for me, Jim. I thought the city was for gentlemen. And for players, Tom. Were you familiar with the property? My husband is. I think it'll be divorce if I don't get it. <laughs> well, let's hope it all goes through. Where are you two off to? There are some horses in the <gasps> paddock. Don't oh. worry, we won't try to ride them. We're just going to have a look. Won't be long, Mum. Is it safe? Don't worry, they'll be perfectly all right. Yes. I have to keep reminding myself that this is England. Thompson Moore House Bridging Finance agreed in principle requires instruction urgentist. Uh, Jonathan Lang, por favor. No, just tell him I called. Guess you already did. Right. So, have a good day, have we? Housing the homeless. I've sold it. I've really sold Hill House. And the commission you wouldn't believe. <laughs> not to just anyone, I hope. They're colonials. Oh, God, not Australian. No, out of Africa. Very nice people called Savage. It never rains, but it pours. No, it never rains in Portugal. OK. What's his name? Who? It's African Savage. Um, Mike, I think. Mike Savage. Do you know him? Come on, if you're treating me to dinner, we don't want to get stuck in a corner. Oh, my treat, is it? But it's got a built-in wardrobe for my clothes. Oh, we agreed. Stop bickering, you two, and go and get ready for dinner. It's not fair. Hello? Mike? Where are you? Did you go out all right? We're missing you too, darling. Ask him about the room. My room? No, no, it's been absolutely bloody. I'm signing away our lives here with no idea where the money's coming from. Oh, don't worry. I got the house. Yes, the Hill House. I'm not a total fool. Well, I've told you it's ours if we can complete. But where the hell's the money? No, oh, darling, I can't. I've stored them far too much already. Well, OK, I'll try. But if I don't see it by Saturday, you can stay in bloody Portugal. You know I didn't mean that. Mm. I'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> love you. Oh, the girls send their love. Bye. Bye. Line's very bad. Yeah, Charlie. I understand. Listen. I can't contact Joe. In the last few hours, getting in has been difficult. Plenty coming out, though. What, worse than the coup? Maybe not. Lots of little nibbles. You secured your position. Listen, I think we ought to meet urgently. Get the first plane tomorrow. I'm at the Europa. See you there. Sorry, Alex. Old friend. Anyone I know? Doubt it. Liar. Should we finalize this loan over dinner? You must smell profit, Charles. Come on, Bo. Cheer up. Is it important? Oh, the house used to be in the family, that's all. My mother grew up there. Vested interest, I suppose. You know him. I knew him. Business? Mm. Colleague. Ah, competitor. <laughs> you really didn't like him very much, did you? Oh, a lot of blood's flowed under the pressure since then. Oh, messy. No, not very. Really. But likely to be. Mary. Ah, gin and tonic and a large scotch, please. Would you excuse me, darling? I shall come in. Savage. 
S-A-V-A-G-E, Mike Savage, Pan-African DV, Incom Munitions, Midcom Investments, amongst others. Get Alex ticket. Breakfast meeting, my office, 7.30 sharp. Oh, Bo, we were just talking about you. You haven't met? No, I haven't had the pleasure. This is Sandy Savage, Miles Beaufort. Ah, how do you do? Hello. And behind you are Kimberly and Paula. Hi. Hello. It's a great pleasure to meet you. Feelings mutual. You have an admirer, Bo. Uh, yes, Bo to my friends. And do you two stunning young ladies ride? Yes. Well, why don't you pop over to Great Elder Farm in the morning and meet the girls and the horses? And the dogs and the cats and the guinea pigs and the goldfish and the rest of the family. Great. Good. Your table's ready, Mrs. Savage. Thank you. My husband will be delighted to meet you. I can't wait. Even by new city standards, this is an early call. We may have a bit of a hiccup. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Animal, Mike Savage. Oh, file on your desk. Pan-African DV, he sounds a bit close to the wind for a respectable establishment like ours. The big hiccup, is he? Not sure. He's on his way back to England. Well, then why the alarm bell? 
A respectable establishment like ours don't believe we haven't had dealings with him, Alex. Oh, we may not have known. We may even be able to prove we didn't know, but we've dealt with him, all right. And in the second place? Our paths crossed in Africa. And? Hmm. Don't play well for a lad with no obvious advantages. And? We must offer him a warm welcome. Hmm. So where would you like me to light the fire? They're buying a house. Savage's wife is stalling on completion. Doesn't have the money? Not sure. He may just not be able to move it around as much as he'd like, that's all. Tap your contacts for any Pan-African deals. This is a good chat. Charlie Neville bought me dinner last night. Aha! Now there's a man close to Savage. He wanted a loan. How much? Two million. His security? Mm-hmm. Poor old Savage. Time Neville's taken his cut, there'll be enough for a one-way ticket home. Higher figures were suggested. Yes, I bet they were. Refuse it. Uh, I've already agreed in principle. Well, say the directors won't authorise it. But they will. Alex, we're directors and we won't. You really don't want him to play, do you? Oh, I just want him out, that's all. Bold, caught or stumped. Retired hurt will do. Senor? Can you get me this number, please, senor? Africa is very difficult at the moment, sir. OK, senor. What's in the briefcase? Ah, oh, papers. They're just papers. Papers, you see, best American quality. More? More paper? What kind of? That's more where that came from. Just, oh. just follow me. through accident. You have a kiss to my place. You watch that door. Door, you two round the back. You follow me. Oh, 
darlings. Oh, Mummy, listen, Kate, can we have rock fields, can't we? Oh, we may not even have a house, let alone any land. Gorbachev. Hello, you must be Kimberly and Paula's mother. I'm Eleanor, Miles's mother. Oh, Sandy Savage, very pleased to meet you, Mrs. Beaufort. <laughs> Eleanor. Eleanor. I do hope the girls haven't been too much trouble. Not at all. You're moving into Hill House, I hear. <laughs> Hopefully. Hotels are not the best places for young girls. I'm very glad to have met you, Mrs. Beaufort. Eleanor. Eleanor, but now I really must kidnap the girls and go and sort this out before their father returns. Girls! Large whiskey, please, senor. No. Ah, excuse me. Are your labors profitable? Uh, not a lot more than this morning. There's no, um, no major money movements from where you've suggested. In fact, the country seems to be sealed pretty tight. Ah. You stopped the loan for Charles Neville? Yes. I've got a lot of explaining to do. In terms are very good. Oh, we'll survive. Oh, I managed to wheedle out of Neville's secretary where he's gone. Where? Lisbon. Oh, very silly. Savage going down. He'd be well advised to see her clear. Never dull when you're around, is it? <laughs> God, I needed this. Yeah, I need my money. I've sorted it out. Get those documents and your assets resurfaced in London. Shut up, man. Obrigado. I did the business with Thompson Morehouse as well. But I really don't see the point of you raising a bridging loan with me. Mel shell out. Alex Castle was with me when you rang last night. He seems agreeable. Yeah, he won't be. He's a crony of Bo Beaufort. When Beaufort finds out, he'll put two and two together. So what's the point? <laughs> Smokescreen. They'll be so busy chasing their own tails, they just might miss us slipping in the West African assets. Anyway, I can't keep living on plastic. And I've got to get the money for the house to Sandy. Signature, that's all. And I'll only charge you a couple of percent over the top. Oh, only a couple of percent. Gardner. Appointment with Simon Cunningham. Simon, the guy hasn't lived in England for years. Certainly never paid any taxes here. He appears to be free to slush funds in and out of the UK. Will. You can prove it. These licenses and transfers. As a regular, as a Greek noun, surely they're unacceptable. NIH, I'm afraid. NIH? Not invented here. These are treasury matters. <sighs> Is it any wonder we lost the empire? Within these walls, we prefer to think of it as temporarily mislaid. You'll keep a watching brief on the fellow. As a matter of fact, I've often wondered about immigration. Can't see you in a bush hat, though. <laughs> Yeah, could they stop him coming in? British citizen. Well, amongst others. As long as the British one he presents, there's not a bit we can do about it. Lean on him a bit if you want. Bowl a few balls in his head. I have a word with the umpire. <laughs> Tear him limb from limb. Oh, I hope that's no one I know. Kim, do you want some oh. coffee? No, thanks, I'm fine. It's my husband. My absent husband. Well, perhaps his plane was delayed. He probably wasn't on it. Bo, what on earth are you doing here? Sandy, a little something to brighten up the horrors of moving house. Oh, Bo. And for your husband. For Mike? Mm -hmm. Mr. Savage has been delayed. Oh, dear, nothing serious, I hope. For Mike? 
Oh, uh, just a little business. Uh, welcome home, Card. How thoughtful. Well, I'm sorry he's not here. Is there anything I can do? Carry in a wardrobe or two? Chest of drawers, sofas, a nest of tables? Cuddly toy. Savage. Oh, dear. I hope it's not more trouble. Excuse us for a moment. Yes, of course. And what nasty little prank are you up to now, Miles Beaufort? Frank, what can you mean, Miss Somerville? Oh, whenever you call me Miss Somerville, I know you're up to no good, you old reprobate. Jane, I am neither old nor reprobate. <laughs> you walk in with a smile as broad as Cheshire cats and holding those blasted flowers like a wreath for a funeral. How much blood exactly flows under that bridge, hmm? And there you were, cursing for old Sounds like I was rotten, wasn't I? You can put up the soul sign. Come on, girls, let's go and get Hill House ready for your father. Bye, bye. Well, what a lucky fellow he turned out to be. Something wrong? Nothing we can't sort out, if you like to walk this way. I'm sure Gorbachev is much happier in the garden. Nice company, Granny. So old. I like it. It's family. Mm, that's just maybe. Alice Castle, how nice to Thank see you. you. Mm. Hello. Hello. Mm. Irregular, wouldn't you say, sir? Four passports? You're perfectly legal. Quite necessary when you travel as much as I do. Sir? It makes travelling a damn sight easier when you have more than one passport. Oh, but you know that. How are you, Alex? I'm very well, thank you, Liz, and how are you? Apart from the fact that I'm a woman, and people will continue to treat me as a child, I'm fine. Exactly. But you are a child. Are you serious about this African business, then? Oh, certainly. I think we should have someone representing our African interests at board level. You? I think so, yes. Well, if I understand you correctly, this loan to Neville would have been very lucrative indeed. But Savage would have been the end beneficiary, and Savage is, in effect, a competitor. Africa's hardly our strongest market. Which is exactly why we should be concentrating on it, at board level. To leave you rather less time for cricket. Oh, I expect that man to You better give me the background to this chap, Savage. Yes, of course, I'll tell you all about him at lunch. Would you excuse me, Sir Geoffrey? I have the briefest of errands. Um, Bo? Uh, back in ten minutes, Mother, I promise. Look, I think we should be careful not to focus too much attention on why they should hold me, N none at all. Did you get the money? Yes. And Miles Bobo gave me a bunch of flowers. Did you? Listen, we'll have a proper homecoming dinner tomorrow night. I'll be with you very soon. Mm. Now, can we sort this out?
right? Yes, uh, fine, thank you. Oh, I'm Sandy Savage. We're moving in today. Of course. I'm Jack Perkins, local Bobby. Yeah, the Hill House has been empty for a while now, so I like to check on it from time to time. I'm glad it's found a new owner. I hope you'll be very happy here. Thank you. What's the best car you've got available? Googly. Still keeping a straight bat. <laughs> I hope I didn't distract you. No. Do you uh, play cricket, uh, Mr. Uh... Used to be rather good, as I remember. Oh, you were the big hitter, though. And you were always difficult to get out. It's still out. Who's that? Just says Mike, bad luck about the loan. I did my best. And then two kisses. Kisses? Two kisses? <laughs> two crosses. Double cross. <laughs> what she does not explain. Do Darling, this? will you give this note to one of your newfound friends and ask them to give it to their father? Find out, yes. And now be absolute angels and go and sort out your rooms. I want to talk to Daddy in private. See you later, then. Mm. Bless you, darling. See you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Save me some champagne. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I know why it had to be this house. Mm -hmm. What happened in Lisbon, Mike? Someone didn't like me. Who? Somebody from back home, I guess. There was a car haunting the road at the bottom of the drive this morning. Thank God the local policeman turned up. Mike, are we going to be all right? Thank you. 
he's the player. That fellow we saw earlier. Oh, he's a bit unorthodox. But then that's true of everything he turns his hands to. Yeah, he seemed like a nice bloke to me. What line is he in? Unorthodox. You see, he's very successful at it. Yes, well, let's hope he doesn't move on again before we've used up all his talents. Well, we could use a good opening bat. Oh, I don't think he'd be around that long. Right, time to go. Can I drop you off? Why didn't you introduce me this afternoon? It wasn't the right time. I'd love to know what this is all about. Don't dramatize, darling. I was just keyed up for the little wooden hill, that's all. And I'm Goldilocks. Sometimes I think that's all you think about. <laughs> Beaufort fancies me. So he should. No, I mean it. He flirted with me from the moment we were introduced. Well, at least he's got good taste in something. Has he always been like that? Mm-hmm. Even when he was married? I didn't know his wife. I wonder what his current girlfriend makes of him. Girlfriend? Jane Somerville, the estate agent. Mm, anyone who takes on Beau Beaufort has got to be head over heels. I think she is. <laughs> John. So what's he really like? Well, he used to be a very good opening bat. Oh, you and your bloody <laughs> cricket. <laughs> it's only a game. Only a game? Am I a game to you? Mike's finished. For me, Hannah, for me. London My wife, Sandy. Hello. It's my Hi. daughter, Paula. Hello. Kimberly. Hey, sir. Uh, this is uh, Jim Perkins. Hmm. You've met my brother, Claude. Policeman. Oh, yes. I didn't recognize you. Hello, How do you do? Fine, How do you do? Oh, look, girls. There's Liz and Kate. Hello. How are you? 
hoboes that said he used to play. Is that orthodox, he said? Well, well, style doesn't always win the day. Well, we uh, need a new opening bat to clock the go. Well, now, that would be interesting. But I always thought you had to live in a village like this for at least two, three generations before you were invited to join the cricket club. <laughs> husband, Mike. This is Jane Somerville, the lady who sold us the house. The man I didn't get introduced to, but I feel I know already. You're not a cricket fan? No. <sighs> Good excuse to lie in the sun all afternoon. And you, cricketing man? Yes, I play the game a bit. Oh, Mike, you don't play games. He wages war. Uh, that's not going to please Bo. Why? I thought he liked a little healthy competition. So long as he's winning. Uh, well, he's not doing too bad at the moment. Yes. Cricket. Oh, the umpire's just given him up. Goodbye to a pleasant evening. Bloody umpire lines at bat. You were going well. Yeah, I could see his uh, white stick and his blind dog. Guide dog, or what? Something off? Sure. It's you who needs the practice, though. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to see if your eyes as good as it used to be. At least you can't run me out this time. <laughs> Slowed up a bit, though. Well, it's never as fast as you, old boy. And your experience of running. <laughs> oh, but you'd never stoop to brute force. You're much too intelligent for that. Oh, I don't know. It's only another tactic. And you're much too intelligent to discount it. Ah. I'm getting soft. There are compensations for being brought up the hard way, Bo. Oh, well, you should know, old boy. Oh, oh dear. Damn ball slipped completely out of my hands. You're all right, old thing. Mm. Don't worry. I'm used to being hit below the belt. Oh, I've come to play with the wrong people. In this game, you should never take your eyes off the ball. with Beaufort. Why? He challenged me. You're bloody mad, you two, like a couple of children. You save yourself on my games, you hear? Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to go. We'll lose our reservation. Uh, darling, if I didn't say it before, it's nice to be home. Happy? Mm. this place. 
face. What's the matter, darling? You've been so quiet all the way over here in the car. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing. Hey. Hey. It's Joe. Charlie Neville just ran. Just before he left. I'm sorry. Was it bad? What happened? How should I know? I wasn't there. How should I know? Well, who were they? And Hannah? No trace. We're going home. Yeah, do you mind? Does he remember Mike Savage, Mother? Uh, he's just moved into Hill House. Mm. No, 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 no. From Africa. Before that. Oh, certainly I remember him. Little rough edge, perhaps. Nice boy. Mm. Nice isn't exactly the word that springs to my mind, I must say. You always were very unforgiving, Bo. He's probably got more to forgive us for. You really are frightfully old-fashioned at times. Well, I must say, it appears he's still a little vulgar. I do believe they've had floodlights put in at Hill House. It's strange how much darker the night sky is. We're in Africa. Sorry, yes, Africa. Probably the lights from the nearest town. But well, there aren't any towns for miles. Floodlights don't flicker. That's a fire. Hill House is on fire. Liz and Kate went over there for the evening. Right. Darling, which direction is Hill House? It's right there. That's a bloody fire. Don't give in, play to win and you go far. 